sweet lads and lasses, now I've been really looking forward to doing the cabin move attack. Move, move, this, them, the them triggering. It's a two pack in a box. You don't really get many two packs in a box in Star Wars Universe. Obviously, comment below if that's correct. It obviously is, because I've just said it. It's the Kenner collection. Now, unfortunately, this is. I know it's kind of it's a little bit upsetting really being a kid who grew up with the Kenner or Palatoy as it was when I was a kid. Uh, it's kind of a little bit upsetting that you've kind of got here like Kenner and then trademark Hasbro 1998. And then even more salt in the wound is the fact that it's get www.httpww.com and there's little Muf Muftak. He's crying a little tear there. <laughs> I'll miss you, can I? <laughs> anyway, so let's get these cracked open and have a look at them outside of the package. Yes, even though it's in a box, it's still there uh, on there like a normal carded, carded toy would be. So, okay. <laughs> oh, a little bit extra difficulty for me. Yeah, now, on removing these from the back, the first thing that I notice is their arms are a little bit twangy, a bit sort of softer material than their the average jaw. And because of this disarticulation, I kind of feel like I'm going to kind of rip or tear that uh, if I move it more than I did there. But at least he's articulated to the point where he can do his little twang, 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 twang on his. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to hope that's his mouth. <laughs> Uh, although he's got four eyes, so I mean it could really be anything, couldn't it? Now then, looking at this, he's got four eyes there, hasn't he? And he's looking at you with four eyes, and it's a little bit kind of cons disconcerting, is that right word? But does he look cuter looking at you with these eyes? Or these? Both look rather owl-esque, don't they? So there you are, now then... The other good thing is, they didn't have to do this, but they did. Look, they've put little sort of paw thing. <laughs> in the paws, that's right there. Like on dogs, they have the kind of soft paddy bit on the bottom of the foot. The pad, yes. So they've put them on as well. So that's pretty cool. So at least, at least you know, when he's st stood on your shelf for like five years, he's, he's kind of stood on there with a modicum of comfort. Unlike his little mara. Now this guy, look at that man, he comes with a good knife, he looks right little edgy guy, and all the guy, like, I catch you, I catch you. Although I see an edgy guy, is it a lass? Because look, he's got a skirt on. Um, or is it that these are the flipping crankies? Look, it could be, couldn't it? Eh? Got to get killed on. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. The crackers. Come here, Jimmy. And this guy's got a really big, really big oversized gun. So there you go. Don't bring a knife to a cantina gunfight, unless the knife is made out of light. There you are. So there is a two pack of the cantina. Oh, the cantina getting full now. Getting really full. So happy days. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll catch you all. I need to cough quite badly. I'll catch you all in a bit. <coughs> Bye. Hey.